before we get started, it's been a while since I thanked these people, but they stuck with me even though I had a down period and not made any videos for maybe a month, uh, but they stuck with me, and I really want to thank them. So, Ahura, Brandon, Chris, Chad, Christoph, Curtis, Donnell, Dennis, Dumbino, Drew, Emily, Gio, Ian, Jason Lombard, and Walter, Jonas, Joseph, Josh T, Ryan, Sebastian, Steve, Theo, Tim, and Zachary. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. All your support is amazing. Thank you. I don't care for Destiny. Here's the truth. First, we decided to test the launcher's reload. To give a baseline, we use the Gamanamar, as you can see in the video. Now the Gajala Bador definitely has a reload, and this is made even more obvious once we slow the footage down. You can see the exact moment the reload occurs. We then switched over to the Truth Rocket, and it appears this weapon cannot reload. During this clip, I continuously pressed the reload button and nothing ever occurred. Hopefully, this is correct in the 2.4 patch. Please let us know in the comments. We also wanted to test if the Heavy could handle its name, The Truth. I personally handled this test and messaged the launcher on Xbox Live to see if it gave honest answers. While it seems that the weapon was truthful, it was also hurtful and not recommended. Next, Truth was tested for its ability at freedom. As you can see in this clip, the launcher easily set me free, along with Hive, Cabal, and Fallen on all locations within the game. It also freed the Sparrow, but for some reason, not this Guardian. This is possibly due to lag. Also tested, the rocket's accuracy in the field. Sadly, it must be reported that it fails heavily in this department. While on patrol on the Cosmodrome, I attempted to hit the side of a beach ship, but every attempt was denied as the rocket veered towards an enemy. This occurred multiple times with multiple ships. This data leads me to believe this gun cannot be trusted in everyday Destiny use. Finally, we tested the gun's ability to add height to jumps. In the test, we used a standard Warlock and once again tested for a baseline with a Kajamanor. As you can see in the footage, Kajabador tested off the charts with over 6 inches in distance and 1 foot in height. Next, we tested the truth, and surprisingly, it tested equally as well and maybe even surpasses the Kajamananor. But the difference is marginal, so feel free to use either for a height boost in the Crucible. Has the truth prevailed? Well, it has the ability to set you free, but can be hurtful at times. It has poor accuracy, but has the huge benefit of rocket jumping. It cannot reload. 82.1